Shalom, shalom, shalom. It's your brother Yael Ezra. Ben Libby coming at you again with another quick video. Now, two weeks ago, there was a brother on TikTok doing a live. Talk about he's a street evangelist. And his topic was the Torah. And how God has raised him up to come at Israelites with the truth of the gospel. And he made a statement that the Torah was trash, that the Torah was demonic, and that it's not of God. And when he said that, his, his comments on his live lit up. Some people tore into him, refuting what he was saying. And of course, there was other people supporting what he was saying. Because whenever I try to interact with this brother and I tell him to show me where God, where Yehovah said that, then he goes to, Paul said over here, I didn't, I said, brother, I'm going to ask the question again. I'm asking you to show me where God said that. And his response is, well, God is speaking through Paul. Now you have to explain why is now God contradicting himself. God never called the Torah, the laws, the statutes, and the commandments demonic. Never called it trash. Um, never said it wasn't of him. Paul is the one that said it was a ministry of death. Yehovah and in one minute, Paul said that is holy, righteous, and good. So make it make sense. But Yehovah said it is our righteousness. And it is our wisdom. Yehovah never described it as our life as well. But Yehovah never described it as saying it was a ministry of death. It was trash. And it was demonic. And not of him. So... I tried to dialogue with this brother to, for him to support what he said with the words of Yah, because I can hardly care what Paul said. Because you have to understand, Paul wrote letters. And in one of his letters, he plainly said, this is not a commandment of God. This is of me. He gave his opinion. And people still read that and say, it's turned to the word of God. And then they go to that passage where Paul said, it's not God, this is me. If I'm giving you my opinion, how is that the word of God? How is that God speaking if I'm letting you know this is not God, this is not a commandment, this is me? So when Paul called it a ministry of death, that was Paul's opinion. Because I'm going to even say this to let some of you know. Even Yeshua, a.k.a. Jesus, who many of you believe is God in the flesh, even he said to keep the commandments. And remember in Matthew chapter 5, verse uh, 19, he said, those that are great in the kingdom are those that obey the law. Those that are least in the kingdom are those that do not obey it and also tell others not to obey it. Remember, and I believe it's uh, Matthew chapter 19, I believe it is. But either way, you're going to remember the story, even if I got the chapter wrong, where um, the original ruler came to Yeshua and said, um, the master, what good thing must I do to in, um, enter into eternal life? Now, if you remember the story, Yeshua just say, just wait for me to die and believe in me. Yeshua said, how do you keep the commandments? How do you see the commandments? Yahweh said, keep these and you shall enter. So, make it make sense. Why is Paul saying something that refutes the words of Yehovah? And even the one that he said is Christ. Stuff blows my mind. And it's stuff like this that takes the people of God away from truth and 
keep embracing the opinions of men over the words of God. Because anytime I give you a thus said the Lord, which is really a thus said Yahuwah, and you come back and say, but Paul said, you're already out of box. You're already out of order. And I've already won the discussion or the debate, whatever you want to call it. Because if you say you're standing on the words of God, and I give you the word of God, and you come back and refute it with, well, Paul said. Come on. We as the people of God got to get back to God and following what God gave us to keep. And stop trying to do it another way. Because another way, this new way, is never going to outdo what God say do. So let us repent. Let us get it right. Yes, return back to Yehoah. And returning back to Yehoah, that also includes keeping his laws, statutes, and his commandments. Which my dear brother on TikTok had the world had the audacity to say that it was trash, that it was demonic, and not of God. I hope this reached him because I forgot his name. But hopefully somebody that know him, you can send him this video. Peace.